All right, hi everyone. So we're going to continue on with our discussion about classes. Uh, in the previous video, we talked about templates, or uh, basically classes or plans, okay? And we talked about instances, which are basically the objects that come from these plans. And today we're going to sort of connect the, the two together using something called constructors. And constructors basically are um, uh, instructions for how to make it, an object from a plan. And you can have in a particular class, you can have multiple constructors to say, you know, you want to construct the object this way, or you can construct the object a different way. Um, and, and we'll talk about that. All right, so if you want to uh, read up a little bit more on classes and objects, the Java 8 Fundamentals book in the uh, York U library, here are the links, uh, have some has some really good information for you. All right, so defining constructors for creating objects. All right, so again, we are linking the plan Okay, or the class to the to the object. Okay, and that that connection is the constructor. Okay, like the construction crew that takes your blueprint and creates the actual object from it. So defining constructors for creating objects within a, pl a class point. Okay, so that's the plan. We define constructors. We do this inside of the plan, specifying how instances, okay, or creations of the point template the point plan, the point class, right, may be created. Okay, and when we create, we create objects. All right, so here's an example right here. So we've got the, we'd be writing out what the, the class is. We call it public. We say it's a, it's a class. We say what the name of it is. We've got a curly brace there, and we've got a curly brace there. Now, inside of that, we have this thing right here. Okay, and this right here is the constructor. And you can see that it uh, it has the class name right there. It has sort of these input arguments to double precision floating 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 point um, uh, input arguments new x and new y. And then when um, the the object is created, it's created through this. And we'll be taking whatever that input argument new x is and new y is, and we're going to create x and y as uh, variables from them. Okay, to be used within the class. Well, in fact, within the object that came from the class. All right. In the corresponding tester class, so we're going to show you another class. This would be like having the main class or something like that. Each call um, uh, to uh, to the the point constructor creates an instance of the point template. So basically, it's like doing a function function call. Okay, that's that's a, yeah, more or less what we're doing right here. All right. So we have this this sort of bigger class called point tester and then within point tester we have the main uh, method okay within the main method the main uh, method we are going to create an object p1 and another object p2 these are objects p1 and p2 are objects what are they defined as they're of point type okay or type point right there and then what you've got over here is basically the constructor this is the constructor right here all right this is basically saying how that object is going to be created and that object will be of type point all right and um, there we go all right here we go so we can see that we have a constructor point right here the input argument for x and the input argument for y are right there we're saying that it is going to be a new object it's going to be named this and it's going to be of type point like that so on the right hand side that's this part right here the right hand side of the assignment that equal sign is an assignment. We see that we have new point two comma four. Again, those are the input arguments x and y. That's the the uh, the class itself. This is a constructor. The constructor will create a point object in memory. This is the object, or this is sort of a visualization of the object. That's the name of it, or the type of it. And then you have your your two variables that are um, that are initialized basically to two and four two and four like that the left hand side of the assignment so this part right here basically declares a variable that is meant to store the address of some point object all right so basically what we're saying is that well, this is the object that was actually created but we have to place it somewhere okay and this would be sort of like saying you know if you've got one of these SD cards okay you know an, an SD card like this that you put music on for your for your cell phone or something like that um, in this case right here, you'd be basically carving out a little piece of memory right there, okay, that would store this, 
and in order to be able to access it, we would give it a name. Okay, we'd call it P1. It'd be somewhere on here. And then there'd be another little block right here for another object, another one right there, another one right there, another one right there. And so we can access them on your SD card or in memory on your computer, etc. You can do it this way. So we're declaring a variable that is meant to store the address of some point object. Now, the assignment, when we execute this, this is the assignment right here, that's the assignment operator, it stores the new object's address in P1. That way we know where to go and find it and how to access it and use it. Okay, so basically what we're saying, here's P1, it's going to be this, this stuff right here. Okay, it's going to be of type point, it's going to have those variables in it, okay, of those values. All right, let's take a look at uh, a different example. We looked at point, now we're gonna look at person. These are examples from the previous video. So within the class persons, we have a class called person. We can define constructors. We can have one constructor, okay, that's sort of the default, or we can have more than one uh, constructor. And here we're gonna specify how instances of the person template or the person class, okay, or the person blueprint may be created, created into objects okay instanti instantiation all right so we have public class person all right we've seen how to set up class like this we got a open curly brace and an ending curly brace and we have a bunch of stuff inside of it including this constructor right here that's the constructor right here we can have one we can have many constructors depending on what kind of person we want to create so we have person and we say um, that it has the, the person will have an age and the person will have a nationality. Now, clearly, you can create people with more than just those uh, characteristics, right? But in this case, we're going to make a really simple person. So the person has uh, an age that's assigned from the input argument new age and a nationality from the input argument nationality, a new nationality like that. So in the corresponding tester class, so we're going to have a another class that will call okay, or we'll create in instances of these objects. Each call to the person constructor creates an instance of the person template. So an instance will make it, so an instance of the person template means that we're gonna be creating objects, okay, from the person class, okay, or the person plan. So here's that, that other class. This could be like a main class or some other class. We could, you know, call it all sorts of different things. And then inside of it, you've got your main uh, method. Okay, so the lowercase m is the main method. And inside of that, we can see that we have a, uh, a new object called Jim, and we have another new object called Jonathan. Okay, and they're going to be of type person. Each of these is gonna be of type person. We're going to create them new, all right? And then right here, this is the, the, um, the constructor. This tells us how we're going to create each of those objects. So we're going to create Jim as a person, so of type person, and we're going to make sure that Jim has an age of 50 and has a nationality of British. Over here we're going to say that Jonathan is a new person and uh, is of age 60 and is of nationality Canadian. All right, so defining constructors for creating objects. So again, there's your type, there's the name of your object. We are calling the constructor right here, all right? And we're saying that the constructor is going to be using the class called person, and we're gonna be giving these input arguments, and then the constructor sort of initializes the object, Jim, from that information. So on the right-hand side of the, so this part right here of the assignment, that's the assignment right there, we are going to create a new person object in memory. Okay, now, our, um, our our constructor doesn't say anything about weight and height. So basically these would be initialized to zero, but it does say something about age and nationality. The left-hand side of the argument declares variables um, that, uh, that will store the address of the person object. Again, okay, so you've got this SD card like this. You might have point P1 over here and then over here, you're gonna have your person. Okay, so you got P1 and P2. Then you've got over here, Jim and Jonathan. Okay, they're just stored in the card. They're made available as we need them. Now, the assignment is that equal sign right there, and it stores the 
at the address of the object itself. All right. So this way we know how to access it. And there you have an introduction to constructors. Mm -hmm.